Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial, Avid Studio Pro, watch and learn. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to create disk menus and submenus or disk authoring. So, let's get into it. Now, as you can see, I have my project all set up in the timeline here. So the first thing I need to do is click on disk and it's gonna ask me if I wanna create a project from my open movie and I'm going to say yes. Now you can see a different view here. First thing you're gonna see is you have a menu list. You can drop any menus or submenus in here that you wanna use. And then you also see that you have a copy of your timeline and you still have all the functionality here but there's some new buttons like the button name, uh, create a unlinked chapter, uh, link chapters, uh, return menu, things like that. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna open your disk menus up here. So if it's not already available, you're gonna to need to hit one of these, hit a drop down or hit the plus sign to add a drop down. I'm going to hit it, disk menus. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of different disk menus along with the sub menus for each one right next to it. I'm going to use the regular one here. So I'm going to drag this down into my timeline. Now, once you do that, you'll see it automatically created a chapter at the beginning and a return button at the end to return back to the main menu. Now, this is my intro. So I really want this to start off over here where the movie starts. Now you can have it start there if you want, if you don't have an intro or whatever, but I want my intro to play before my menu comes up, so I'm gonna drag this over to the beginning. Now you'll see it says intro video here. Now the great thing about these chapters, you can drag them wherever you want. If I wanted to move the return menu somewhere else, I could. So there you go with that. Now, if you don't wanna use any sub menus or the scene selection, you're done now, basically. If you click on this, so you have play movie is connected to the chapter one, and there's nothing collected, connected to the scene selector. So if I click on the simulator button, you'll see my intro play. And if I hit menu, you'll see there is no scene selection here because I didn't have a sub menu. Now, of course, you can change all the text here. I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, this works just like uh, any other type of remote control. You got your buttons here to select things and to move it around and all that good stuff. So we're good to go. Now, I do want to go ahead and do some sub menus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into the menu list. And you'll see here that it really hasn't done anything yet. It's saying, hey, you're all set up. How you want it to do? You can drag these in each place that you want a menu to be. But what I'm going to do is, or you can create chapters and then drag these into where you want the chapters to be. But I'm going to go ahead and use the chapter wizard. I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me some choices here. Uh, optimal position with the average length of whatever. I can change the time if I want to on that. To have many seconds I want. Um, apply to the whole movie. You got a selection of the movie. Oh, almost forgot. If you got markers in here, timeline markers, you can choose that and it'll put scenes wherever the timeline markers are. And then you want to link chapters to the menu buttons. You want to have that automatic. And you can also have it return after every chapter to the main menu. That's a great option if you're making like educational videos or something and you want each one of these bad boys every time after a chapter plays to go back to the main menu so somebody can select whichever thing they want to see next. So I'm going to click OK and it's going to create them. Now you see it's creating a whole bunch of them. Well, why are they doing that? Well, each one of these only has three videos, right? So you'll notice that since it's every 10 seconds, it needed to do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 chapters. So it has six menus here, but I don't need them all because you'll see here that, oh no, I got a chapter in my intro. I don't want that. So I'll basically see that it's two in. So I'm going to go to the end here and I'm going to delete these two chapters. And then I'm going to drag these over. So since it's every 10 seconds, I'm going to try to get it around every 10 seconds here. And when I move that chapter three, look, oh, my chapter one button is there. Because it's my main menu, it never really moved. So as you can see, as I'm moving these over, you'll see that these keep changing. So now you'll see that my menus are all set up. This is an empty one, so I'm just gonna delete this one. There's nothing in it, and I'm good to go now. You'll see this section here, it says, this menu is not reachable because there are no links to this menu. Well, there needs to be. I need to make the scene selection match up to them. So I need to click on this main menu. And I'm going to drag this down into this first one. 
and now they're all good to go. So they're all set up all together and I can use my disk simulator to see them. So I'm gonna open this up and now you see that. So I'm gonna, my intro, I'm gonna go to the main menu. Now you see the scene selection button is here. If I hit enter on this, it'll play the movie. If I go down to scene selection and hit enter, now you see my scenes. And I can go through all of them and go back to the main menu. So, next thing you want to do is you want to set up your names or pictures or however you want to do it. So I'm going to click on the main menu and I'm going to click edit or you can just double click it either way. So you got your text editor here. It's just like a regular old text editor. You got your text settings here. You can change up and all that good stuff. So I'm going to change the name. Now, if I click on this, you'll see here it says not a button. It's just text. I can change it to a button if I wanted to make it into a button. Okay. Same thing with this not a button. But here we have a normal button at the alpha. Okay. And it tells you what color it is when it select, when they click on it, it's selected, and what color it is when you click on it. Uh, you can set it as a default still image, whatever. If it was images there, we'll talk about that in another video in the future. So what I'm going to do now, now that I have this all set up, is I'm going to choose a background. So I'm just going to go here to the tabs, choose the video I want, and drop it down in here. If I wanted to put audio, I could go up here to a tab where and select some auto and drop it into here as well. But I don't want any audio. I want it to stay like this. So I'm good to go with this. So I'm going to click OK. And if you want to do your sub menus. You can click, double click on that or click it once and then click edit. You can change your text here as well. If you wanted to change the chapter, na chapter numbers, you could to different names. If you wanted to change them to different names, just click, double click on it and you can change the text there. And you can have different backgrounds here. You can drag whatever background you want into there. And I have the same background that I had before. Click OK. And then you can do that with each of your submenus. And you're all set up. So, that's it. How to create a disk menu.